We're Madison Taylor, a design firm specializing in high-end architecture and interior design. Each year, we select a few exclusive integrated design and build projects that we carry from concept to completion, finishing them with our in-house construction services. We are bringing you behind the scenes as we take on these unique projects. You will get a sneak peek as our team creates, overcomes hurdles, and delivers the final masterpiece. Yeah, so welcome to my office. This is this is cause of growth. So basically over the last year and a half, we've gone from five people to 20 people. And as a result, this is my glamorous spot in the office. Project Shoreview is one of our integrated design builds that we're currently working on. Project Shoreview is such a cool scope of work that was presented to us about a year and a half ago. A client came to us with a really neat idea that she wanted a Mediterranean Hollywood glam style. So we were really excited about something different, which really drew us to the project. Currently where we're at in the process is we've just obtained our airtight stage. So what that means is we basically foundation is poured. Uh, we have all the framing complete. Our roofing is fully waterproofed and we've just finished installing all these beautiful Marvin windows. One of the biggest things we've had to deal with is getting to spring and half load season. Obviously with spring comes a lot of water, a lot of water. Uh, so with the location that we're sitting on, we have a very large farm field in behind that is actually sloping towards the house. So obviously with the snow melting, um, all that water came to the house. Well, we had torrential downpours last night. So came here this morning to about three feet of water around the outside of the basement. Had to get some pumps in. Couldn't keep up with the water. Uh, we've got drainage pipes going to the ditch. By trenches going to the driveways. It's just been melting and everything coming off these fields behind us are just running right into the basement. Other than that, it's, you know, the shingles are on so the inside's staying fairly dry. Most of the windows are in. Um, it's just more frustration than anything. You know, I had a lot to do today. I didn't want to be sitting playing with mud all day. Mother Nature, uh, no Vaseline today. So Rick had to do a lot of um, sleeping on the site and just ensuring that the water wasn't going to cause damage on the home. We're pretty excited that majority of the water has streamed by and uh, you know once half loads are lifted on May 1st, our, you know we're going to be basically wrapping up our uh, lot grading so that we can start um, clearing that water away from the house and pushing it in the direction of uh, the new swales that we're going to be installing. We're gonna head on over to Project Shoreview. Off we go. Hi. All right, so we are off to Project Shoreview and we're going to meet Rick on site. One of the reasons why we take on these integrated design builds is that by, you know, kind of integrating ourselves onto the job site and really taking our designs and seeing them through the construction and working with the trades, it really allowed us to perfect, you know, not only coming up with great ideas, but how do we implement them? What are the things that trades need to see in our packages to successfully build our designs on site? one of our favorite times to come on site. We're still pretty open in terms of the walls and we haven't had an insulation in the drywall go in yet. So it's a nice opportunity for us to come and check the site, make sure electrical, plumbing, and everything has been put in in the correct spot. We also have all of our back framing in place. Anything that may have come up in rough and stage would now be captured so that we can really make sure before moving forward, closing all the walls in, everything's exactly where it needs to be. be the kitchen on this side and this beautiful dining room obviously eventually going to be a great view. 
And so this room is going to be a little bit different from the rest of the area. Everything is kind of nice and white and bright and uh, re reclaimed wood. But moving into the dining, we've got these beautiful big chandeliers, dark walls, dark ceiling, a little bit more drama in there. So it's going to be pretty cool. Nice juxtaposition to the rest of the house. Here we are out on the uh, rooftop patio. This was one of the most important elements of the home for the client. So if you swing around and look behind you, we've got a beautiful view of Kempenfeld Bay. I didn't want to leave before catching up with Rick on how things are since the flood. We've got the water under control. There was no damage done anywhere. We uh, rechecked all the plumbing in the basement to make sure none of the lines had floated. 22 trucks of concrete had to come in because it's half one season. Yeah, now we're just going to start framing walls, get some insulation and drywall, and then we're on our way. It'll look like nothing's happening for probably about six weeks while we're in drywall stage. And then it'll be all to the fun stuff with tile, millwork, painting, lighting, plumbing, and all the, all the goodies that get the client excited again. So we're pretty excited.